the uh, sailing studio. My name is Anna Klange and I'm in Sandham during the Event Time ORC European Championships. Uh, right now I'm sitting next to uh, Mr. Uh, Ekad Reinke, uh, which is uh, our international race officer for these races. Very much welcome. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Thank you. Uh, I know that you've been in Sandham before. Yes, but not as a race officer. No. As a tourist. I was in Ustad, a race officer for the last Europeans. Oh, so uh, very much welcome then to Sandham and Thank during you. for these European Championships. Uh, what has been the last two days' um, thoughts? Oh, we had a, uh, thoughts. We had a lot of thoughts because uh, on Monday evening we had a very difficult weather forecast for the long offshore race, and we were calculating back and forth the best courses, not too short, so that's still an offshore race and not too long, that the sailors still can make it, and uh, we, there was really not to find a good solution with that weather forecast. And, uh, but you managed yes, well. Yesterday morning we were lucky we got a better weather forecast so that we could decide on the courses. And so we made three courses for three classes. So a shorter course for the slower boats and a longer course for the big boats. Yes. And the offshore races is a bit complicated for those who doesn't know because there are one short race which is included in the long race. Um, it's actually one start yes. in the beginning and one final finish at the end, but we do an intermediate in between and this intermediate also counts as a race and it's, it is usually within the first third of the race. Yes, but we started off with two uh, Windward Lee Wood races uh, yes. two days, three days ago. Two days ago. On Monday. Yes, Monday. And then we have had the offshore races and now we're back on track for the uh, windward leeward races, exactly. which starts tomorrow. And any thoughts or uh, expectations for them? Yes, it was good that we had already two races on Monday because after the races you can go to the sailors and talk about the course design, about the length of the starting line, about the positioning of the finish. And uh, in every fleet there are different expectations. It's, uh, it's, uh, so I think we can, could calibrate it so that we have a good new possibility for the windward leeward races tomorrow. Yes, and we are still uh, on three starts for every uh, race because there are three classes, right? Yes, we yes. Will have per race three starting groups yes. and they will, they can but don't have to sail even three different courses. Yes, okay. So there it might be a little bit uh, tricky on, out on the course. No, because every sailor only has to remember his, his course, course yes, and not for the that other race. Ones. Yes. So uh, it's more tricky for the race management. Ah, uh -huh. nice. And uh, any other thoughts about the arrangements and uh, things that is going around here in Sandam? It's a beautiful place. We had wonderful wind, a lot of sunshine, and I think the sailors are quite happy. Me too. I think uh, they were tired today because they were on the offshore races this night, but I think they are happy, as you say. Uh, any other uh, comments? No, I'm, <laughs> if the sales are happy, I am happy. Ah, that's good. Thank you so much for coming and uh, see you again tomorrow. Thank you.